And uh, just the last question for both of you. It's uh, about um, the music you are hearing and mm -hmm. maybe playing as DJs. Uh, is there, um, for both of you, uh, Danilo to begin, mm -hmm. is there some artists you know uh, and you especially like and uh, you think that uh, Jennifer does, uh, does like? Yeah, sure. <laughs> all. Which one? Like anything in playing oh, jazz, for oh, example. Yeah, all the all the stuff that is a little too. I think you know we we we, we joke about it a lot. You know, yeah. like she's more the, the the kid that was raised on Depeche Mode and New Order and stuff like yeah. this, right? So for me, and I I hate this. You can totally kill myself with this kind of music. I like punk, but I like the more, I don't know, like ESG kind of. It still has to have some kind of. Groove, yeah. groovy catchy thing to it I don't like it if it sounds too European you know and um, so there's a lot of artists I don't know I yeah, yeah. And, uh, in more like, more like electronic more in more electronic in electronic ways well that's a bit harder because like, some Martin. stuff of Kerry Chandler some stuff I like it some, st some, some stuff, stuff I, I don't, don't. Like. I mean there w in uh, if it's about electronic music I think in all the artists he likes, I, there are probably some releases I'm going to like and mm. the other way around. Yeah, yeah, probably. And but let's say more it goes to house on his side, less uh, more he lose the connection with me. If I have to think of one that you probably won't like would be something like Joe Closel. I like Joe Closel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And for you, Jennifer, is there some um, artist you especially like and you think he, uh, Daniel is going to like? I'm not gonna say any names. He's gonna be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, we know exactly what we could say, but we are yeah. so humble and nice that we won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we listen to some music in the train, actually. <laughs> no, but I think it's pretty much the same. I mean, yeah. Like I played stuff when you came to Social Club. I played stuff that you would not buy, but you liked but yeah. to listen to it. This is also a difference. I mean, there are things he would play that I would never play myself. But like Joy Closer, for example, if I go out just for dancing, I really love house music too. I think it's sexy. Mm. Just you can dance like that. Yeah, there's there have been a couple of records that she played in a club setting, and I was like, huh, that's that record? I would have never bought it. But then it sounded really good, you know, in the context. It's also how you build your set. So yeah, like we buy records together sometimes at Compact, and then we check, like, listen to that, listen to that. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. When it gets too dark, it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, for me that's true. And in the records you brought, is there a, a young artist, uh, a newcomer that you want to especially make people know uh, for tonight? Well, I think people should know now, because it's really disco, sexy, lots of um, nice melodies, and uh, I, I really like it. And I would recommend my my uh, own boy now. <laughs> <laughs> For me, there's one guy from Cologne that I really like right now. It's uh, Stefan Baldo. Have you heard of him? No. Like on quintessentials and stuff. And some of it for me is a little too um, too deep to play. But the, the, he has just made some, some disco edits and I always love the Stefan Baldo disco edits. They are really, really on point. I also, I'm, there's so many video clips on YouTube where I play his re-edits. So it's all I have to be careful not to play it anymore. So yeah, Stefan Baldo is really a young talent that you should watch out. Okay. <laughs>